Good morning, children. Good morning. Good morning. What day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday. Daily reset. Weekly reset. <laughs> Weekly reset. Yeah, it's destiny on the brain. No club today, Sierra? Uh, no club today. Any particular reason why it was canceled? No, I think our librarian was not, is not here today. Oh, how do you know it was canceled? Or is it Mr. Announcements was showing, or announcements said so. Oh. Well, good morning, clan, and welcome to Tuesday. I'm here at my parents' house. Me and my dad are getting ready to hop in the car and head up north to their cabin to winterize it. It's supposed to be freezing temperatures uh, tonight, and uh, if he doesn't take care of his water and his pipes, they'll freeze up and they'll burst, and he'll have a mess when he gets up there next time. So. Time for a little road trip. I don't really like road trips, but it's just me and my dad, and my dad and I haven't been on a road trip since I was probably like maybe 10 or, or, or younger. Uh, my dad used to be a truck driver, and so when I was a baby, and all the way up until I started school, and even a couple times in school, like in the summer and whatnot, I'd go on like road trips with him, and you know, it'd be a trip to California and back, or it would maybe just a trip down to like Yuma and back, and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, I mean, I have memories of, of certain road trips, but I haven't been on a real road trip with my dad in, in many, many, many years. And so I'm looking forward to it. I don't normally like road trips, but I'm looking forward to this one. Check it out, guys. Forest lakes, just outside of Payson. Pine trees everywhere. Dirt roads. You can get on that pop, pave it. I know. <laughs> oh, you can tell it's grandpa's. It's, yep. it's John Deere eyes. Yep. Everywhere you need. John Deere everywhere. That's cool, man. Check it out, you guys. This is my grandpa's cabin, man. Uh, now my dad's technically, um, but yeah, it's on an acre of land here in Forest Lakes, and uh, it's super cool, man. Super chill, and like literally, it's. Mm, it says 57. It's usually a little high on, on the high end, so I'll say it's probably like, you know, close to 55 or so. It's definitely chilly, overcast, but uh, it's just really cool. Travis spent a lot of time up here when my grandpa was building this place out. He bought it um, with the cabin, and then he he built out all the stuff around here. And uh, my dad's gonna give me a tour here in a minute. Um, but let's go inside real quick. I'm gonna check out the cabin on the inside. The outside is definitely the coolest part. One thing my grandpa never never disappointed on was building elaborate um, environments, I guess is the best way to put it. I mean, his two country western bars are absolutely amazing to look at and be around. His house, his property that he lives on, he built his own little western town out back. I mean, look at this. Look at that. It's so cool. Let's go inside, let's go inside. So this is a cabin, quote unquote a cabin, so it's relatively small. It's not, you know, very big or uh, elaborate. When you're coming up here, obviously, you're here just to hang out, chill, you don't need a lot of room. Um, small little kitchen, old school appliances and whatnot. Got a little fireplace there, a little coffee station here. Bathroom and a bedroom, some uh, lazy boys. Little stairs, a little stairs action here. And it's, it, you know, like a cabin, like, like you would think with a cabin, it's you know, pointed roof, like a tri triangle. A little, small little living room here. Some closets, another bathroom, and uh, you got, I guess it's considered the master bedroom, perhaps? I don't know. Is there a shower? I don't see, maybe the shower's downstairs. Maybe there's no shower, I don't know. It's small, it's cozy. Like, I could tef definitely see, like, us coming up here, like, for a weekend, and just chilling. I mean, there's enough room for everybody to hang out in, right? There's space downstairs, a little space upstairs, tons of space outside. But typically, if you're gonna come here in the summertime, that's what you're gonna do, is you're gonna hang out outside because the weather's gonna be probably perfect. Well, hello there. Hi, kids. Hello. Kids are out of school. Hi, Bryce. Hello. They got home from school. Anybody else got home from school? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah is in town, along with um, my uncle, their great uncle, and aunts, which would be Papa's brother and Papa's mom. Yeah. So they're in town, we haven't seen them in, uh, my gosh, I haven't seen my grandma probably in a couple of years. So we're gonna go see her. Kids are reading while we're driving, getting their homework done. Yeah. So one of the things we're doing is uh, grabbing all the food out of the cupboards and the fridge and everything that um, you know, we don't want to leave up here. 
and uh, pack it up, bring it down. And then we're going to uh, put some antifreeze in the pipes, drain the water heater, make sure the pipes are all good to go because it's supposed to be freezing tonight or tomorrow. And uh, obviously if you have water in your pipes and they freeze, they could bust. Check out this old school garage, guys. And I say old school because you don't see garages like this anymore. He just has all kinds of nails and screws and drill bits. It's cool, man. You just don't see garages like this anymore. Like, but this is how my dad's garage is and how I grew up. And this is the kind of, this, this feels like a garage. Like just tools like up on the shelf and stuff and workbenches and actually room to walk around and do stuff in. Like, it's cool, man. And this is my grandpa's. There's a deck over here on the side of the garage. Again, it's another place to congregate. A small little stove. Check out this firewood, man. Like, they are stacked on firewood. They're good for a long time. How old do you think that wood is, guys? Look at that. How old do you think that is? It's gotta be 10 years old, you think? A lot of it. You can't see it because of the pine needles, but there's a horseshoe, like, driveway right there where they park all the cars. Driveway here, straight back. Cool looking patio on the front of the cabin. My brother Travis and my grandpa built that. It's a patio cover, but then you take those rails down and it folds down and it covers the windows. How cool is that? Pretty innovative, right? Snow, so the snow doesn't build up on it. And my brother actually helped put this in by hand. Him and my grandpa put this in. A little walkway. And like I was saying earlier, my grandpa was a big fan of John Deere, so when he had a color scheme, it was always green and yellow. Green and yellow. Hello. It's been a long time. It has. Yes. Here's Aunt Sybil. Oh, there they are. How you doing? Hey, you have grown up. Here's Uncle Ron. How you doing? <laughs> you remember him? Yeah. Yeah? How you been? Hi, good. Good to see you. It's Grandma. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. They grew a little bit, didn't they? It's Tiffany now, miss. She's the youngest one. There are Tiffany. How are you? <laughs> Do I look different? <laughs> you? I'm Tiffany. The youngest one. And then these are my kids. <laughs> so next we're uh, we're going through and we're getting rid of all the water and all the pipes and opening all the valves. Pop, why do we why do we have to open all the valves? What's, what's the so problem? they don't freeze. Well, but there's no water in them. What's... Well, I know, but there's there could be water in them, and it's it's I forget we, how. But we leave them open, right? You leave them. We open. leave them open, yeah. Okay, so no water, no condensation collects. Right, and 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 also, air can pass through them. Where on one side it'd be easier. I think it'd be easier to freeze. I, I uh, just, I okay, okay. No, that makes sense. Yeah, it's straight to playing ball. One, two, three. Ooh, Bryce is getting pretty good. I didn't say that. You Whoa, nice buddy. <laughs> Did you just land a dog poop? Check this out. There's actually a legit outhouse back here. I don't think there's a hole, but my dad says that there is a toilet in here. We're gonna we're gonna open this up. I'm kinda scared to open this up. <laughs> there's look at that guys, this is a real outhouse. Obviously there's no hole in the ground, but that's what, that's what people used to poop in. Storage shed over here with a bunch of uh, stuff to move around, ladders, wheelbarrows, trailer. And then this is actually a, uh, an actual working toilet. <laughs> There's vines growing on the inside. <laughs> I guess my brother pooped in there. <laughs> the water. <laughs> Uh, that is totally Austin style. He don't care when he's got to poop, man. He's got to poop. There's no like, he's like, watch out! And that's when he's, he's already let it go and then you're like, dude, there's no water in there. He's like, oh, oh well. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, where most of my grandfather's ashes lay. They planted an oak tree seed or acorn or whatever, whatever an oak tree is right there with his ashes. And as his name is depicted, and it comes, my dad says it comes back every year. It dies and it comes back every year and it gets a little bigger, a little bigger. And eventually it'll stay, it won't die. And it'll continue to hopefully be a giant oak tree right here. So that's kind of a little memorial for my grandfather. What you doing? Setting the table up. Setting the table. Good job. Where my sister does this. At home anyways. 
<laughs> oh, you doing a crisscross? Fancy. Cute, buddy. Well, I made it back home. Uh, good times hanging out with my dad. Uh, as I said earlier, not a fan of road trips, but it's cool uh, hanging out with my dad and just giving us time to talk, man. He's, he's a busy guy and uh, it's hard to lock him down for any long period of time. And so it was nice to be able to chit chat with him. <laughs> now you're making your jammies all stinky. Look at the size of these children. Bryce is pretty much across the whole couch. I know Sierra is when she lays down. They got their they got their jammies on because it's I, have one I know. Of these. Well, Bryce, you're sweaty. Does. You feel like you're getting sweaty, dude. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's, not it's not quite cold enough for that, guys. I know. These are thin. Yeah, these are these are like these are thin. See, these are thick, buddy. Yeah, I told him. He's like, I'm gonna wear my onesies, and I'm like, it's too, you're gonna be hot. So you guys hung out with uh, Uncle Ron, Aunt Sybil, and Great Grandma. How was that? That was fun. Right on. I'm looking forward to seeing them. I think we have lunch on Thursday or so. Yeah. Cool, no. cool. <laughs> just fell off. So we had a feeling that Grandma wasn't gonna remember these two. But she didn't remember me, huh? No, <laughs> oh, she remembered us, but then. Well, she. I think she just knew, like you know. Oh, you kids are getting she, big, she, like. But yeah. When she, she looked at me. But it was good seeing her, for sure. She's here for the week, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right on. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as I said, good times hanging with my dad. Kids had a good time hanging out with me, mom, papa, and uh, Uncle Uncle, uh, Uncle Ron, Aunt Sybil, great grandma. Uh, lots more of that to come later this week. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, I'm gonna go to lunch with my mom, and uh, Bryce has one of the baseball practice. Uh, so stay tuned, check back tomorrow for that. Vlog on.